A very good morning, Robin. Thank you so much. We have a foggy start to the day over the western parts of the country, including around Cape Town. So if you are already driving to the office over those parts of the country, uh, switch, off, uh, switch on those fog lights and try to uh, maintain safe following distance. Now, we have uh, some showers forecasted this afternoon. We'll look at that shortly. But first, let's look at what is making headlines elsewhere in the world. We are looking at the Hurricane Milton, which is sitting in the Gulf of Mexico and it's going to be affecting the United States state of Florida uh, later on tonight uh, for uh, so American time. It is still in the Gulf of Mexico, a category four uh, hurricane for that matter and already lots of warnings for the uh, panhandle of Florida, especially where you see that shade of red over the west and the east coast. Uh, flooding is going to be a problem for this part of the United States as well as uh, strong winds. We will keep on updating you on that storm as we uh, see, get some updates. Now here's how things are going to look like for the rest of your Wednesday. Isolated thunder shows are forecast this afternoon for much of the interior, including Houteng, parts of the northwest Limpopo. Then down here in KwaZulu Natal and Timpumalanga, that's where we're going to see uh, the most intense uh, thunderstorms, up to 60% chance of those thunderstorms for these areas. Fresh to strong winds along the eastern Cape coastal areas. Lighter winds are forecast, however, over the west coast. Now we have a warning for severe thunderstorms over parts of KwaZulu Natal and Timpumalanga. The storms in those parts could produce a lot of hail, damaging winds, as well as a heavy downpours in some areas. Houteng is going to be pretty warm this afternoon. Temperatures still in the upper 20s and lower 30s with isolated thunder showers expected right across the province. We will also be seeing some showers for much of Limpopo. Similar temperatures here, but Polokwan peaks at around 25 degrees. It is also going to be fairly wet for Mpumalanga with scattered thunderstorms for the southwestern areas and temperatures will peak at 28 for Mbombela, hotter for Skukuza at 33. Fairly wet as well for much of KwaZulu Natal. That warning for severe thunderstorms for the central and northeastern areas. Deben will be pleasantly warm, peaking at around 25 degrees. Showers are also focused for the northern parts of the eastern Cape Dry for the coastal areas. It will stay sizzling hot for much of the interior with highs in the lower to mid 30s. Dry for the Western Cape with partly cloudy skies, rather cool for the Southwest coastline. Cape Town and Hermanas warming to around 20 degrees, but it will be sizzling hot for Palabora. Hot as well for Uppington with dry conditions. Showers possible for Kimberley and Dia, both warming to around 32 degrees. The free set is also going to see isolated showers. Temperatures here mostly in the lower 30s, Bloemfontein and Valcom making it to 30 degrees. The same for Forest Smith. There is also a chance of showers for much of the northwest. Mahikeng will be pretty warm at 30 degrees. A similar high for Rustenburg bit hotter as we go towards the western areas. And we're expecting a dry and hot Thursday for much of the country. It will stay dry on Friday with the heat increasing in most parts and that heat continues into the weekend. That's all from the weather desk.